What's good everyone, your boy the Soloist, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I know it's been a long time, but I'm finally back, I've been working on my website, I've been working on a whole bunch of things, school, you know how that goes, uh, yeah, so that brings you to today, I'm gonna do a little, something a little bit different, uh, one, I'm gonna update you guys, two, I'm gonna start this video, and yeah, I think that's all I have for this video, right? Update, so I decided I'm gonna live stream, I'm at the point now, I think I'm gonna live stream at least five times a week, probably five weekdays, but again, people game on Saturdays, so I'm not sure, on weekends, so I'm not sure. But basically, I'm gonna game five days a week, I'm gonna have live streams happening, all right? I can, I can for sure say five. Maybe every day, I don't know, for sure five, and I'm gonna have a video, a gaming video posted every single day. Now, instead of having the gaming videos specifically tailored to a game, for instance, Monster Hunter, what I did before, I used to have a lot of Monster Hunter videos every single day, but Monster Hunter has now come out, and I would much rather have live stream, you know, me, you know, gameplay content like this. So, um, yeah, I thought about my other videos, my videos I will be posting, should be on some of the things that people have commented or said towards me. For instance, they looked at my content. I've had a lot of comments saying, you know, how do you do what you do with the videos? I like, you know, for instance, the background here. How did you manage to do that? Uh, you know, Konkuro's right there and the sand thing. Like, I really like your, your transitions, you know? Um, if you're new and don't know what I'm talking about, just things like, okay, is this thing gonna work or not? Let's see. Yeah, so just things like this. You know, being able to switch up and, whoa, he's, he's in the world of Skyrim, and they say they like what, I, what you do here. Things pop up and all that stuff. So, I was thinking, and let me bring it back, actually. I bring it here. I was thinking that I'll have videos showcasing how I do the things that I do, but also, you know, things like tips on how to create your channel, things that you should wrap your head around, um, you know, when creating a gaming channel. Uh, you know, some people ask me about how did you come up with your name, The Soloist. They're asking me what could be a good name for them. And uh, yeah, so I, I definitely think that's something I would like to talk about. You guys let me know if you'd be interested in that. Uh, but I think I am going to go ahead with this idea. And if you guys want to see more videos or something else, definitely let me know in the comments below. So yeah, that's the update. All right. Yes, I've been gone. I know, I know, I know. I'm back live stream every five out of seven days a week at minimum. Look forward to that. Right now I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I want to get through that game. Then I'm back on Monster Hunter. So that's what's up. And yeah, so today's video, I actually wrote it down, will be five things that gamers, we as gamers need to come to terms to. Wow, why was that so hard to say? Five things as gamers that we should come to terms to before we actually create a gaming channel. Now, I decided to create this list with two things in mind. Every single list that you see people have of this, they say the same generic crap over and over again. Like, come on, that shit ain't helping nobody. Excuse my language. But honestly, that's not helping anyone. Oh, just be consistent and this is, you know, everything else will come. Like, you think I haven't heard that a million times? So I literally sat down and asked myself, what are five things that would truly help you guys, uh, you know, create that channel and so I focused this list specifically on five things sorry you know when you feel like you need to burp but it's not happening so I'm just you make weird faces anyway yeah so yeah these are five things that you need to come to terms with understand before you start creating your channel before you continue to move on with your channel I think this will help you be a lot more successful and I think I'll leave it at that. I don't want to get too into it. So in no particular order, at number one, nothing about a gaming channel is about gaming. All right. Nothing about a gaming channel is about gaming. There's so much, so much you have to learn, so much you have to do and understand before you are going to turn on your PS4 and just game this is one of the mistakes i think a lot of people make they think that just because you live stream that you're gonna 
you know, and you're consistently live streaming from the beginning, that you're gonna get a million people just following you, following you, subscribing to you because you're so good or your content is so great. That's usually not how it works. I'm not saying it never happens. I'm saying that's not usually how it works. Now, what am I saying? YouTube specifically, let's look at that. When you upload a video, one, you need to know how to edit your video. You need to understand how, you know, which program you're gonna use to do that. You need to learn that program and, and start to figure out, you know, how I should do my transitions, how to add text, how to do these things, which fonts do I use? I don't wanna use the original fonts. Okay, how do I download fonts? You need to create your thumbnail. You look at your thumbnail. Okay, I wanna make a good thumbnail. Chances are you're eventually gonna to have to use Photoshop. How do I use Photoshop in those tools? So you have to spend some time learning that. Then you're gonna to have to focus on SEO, tag your videos, how to title your videos, and copyright is another one you know which content are you able to actually put into your videos that won't get your video flagged down that won't get you kicked off of youtube that won't get you copyright strikes a lot of these things you would never know only until you only in only when you start to you know embark on this gaming journey you know gaming creating a gaming channel so i think it's very important for when you're just starting out to understand that there's a lot of things you're going to have to learn and a lot of things that you're going to have to, you know, do before you can just wake up and sit down and start gaming as a lot of people, you know, see on live streams and things like that. So that's the first thing I want to put out there. Number two, forget the subs, forget the views, focus on community. I'll say that again. Forget the subs, focus on the views, focus on community. Your focus should be on building a community with people. The road is a lot less taxing, a lot easier when you have other people doing it with you. If you have a friend, tell him to him or her, you know, create a channel too and you guys are both, you know, working to figure things out. They can help you, you can help them. But also if you don't have anyone else in your circle, don't forget we live in a world of social media. Hit hit go on Twitter, go on Facebook, find other people that are doing similar things to you or you know in the similar place just starting out and you guys can help each other there that's what i mean by community so yeah number three if you want good subscribers be a good subscriber this is a key one all right this is one that it took me a while to learn if you want to be a good subscriber if you want a good subscriber be a good subscriber now when we go on youtube and we start creating we're just focused on us we're focused on our numbers, our views, our subscribers. Me, 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 me. All right. Jimmy, what is it? What's the old saying? Gimme, gimme never gets. I think that's the old saying. Guys, if you want people to come to your content, go to theirs. Comment on theirs. When I first started gaining subscribers, when I was at like 30 forever, and I started gaining subscribers, it's when I started to subscribe to other people. And as soon as I saw like that little red dot when somebody actually uploads a video, I would go to the channel and be the first one to comment, first one to say something and not know, I'm not saying sub for sub, that's not what I was commenting, but actually watching their content, not the whole thing, mind you, but two, three minutes of it and, you know, saying something and inquiring about it like, oh, you're playing this game. I never heard about that game. You know, would you recommend it? You know, and be genuine with your things. I think the more genuine you are, the better. And the more you do it, the more you realize other people feel obliged or feel, you know, this feeling of wanting to support your content because you do the same for them. And I did this consistently for like two and a half months. Literally, I'm not talking like years ago. I'm talking about, you know, last November, December, this January, I was focusing on a bit of other things. I'm going to start doing that again. But yeah, that's definitely something you should wrap your mind, wrap your head around, uh, you know, before you start creating your content and thinking you're just going to game to game. All right. At number four, money cannot matter money guys get that out of your mind people do it for the wrong reasons don't be on youtube doing it for the wrong reasons i know a lot of other videos do say this but this is one that has to be reiterated that has to be said in this video forget the money and the reason why that's more important now than it ever has been is for the simple fact that youtube has changed the rules all right like less than six months ago, if you went on YouTube, uh, actually a bit longer than six months now, if you went on YouTube 
you'd be a member right away you'd be able to make money off of your first video those days are gone they made changes they said you need 10,000 views and I think like a hundred subscribers I think that's what it was and um, yeah I literally hit the hundred subscriber mark around December uh, the beginning of December and my month and my account was in review all right it was reviewing my account for monetization so essentially for me to make money and it was in review for like a month and a half longer than it should and then they made another change saying that you need 4,000 hours of watch time in the last year plus a thousand subscribers now if you guys see my subscriber count right now it's right up above I have 386 subscribers there's 386 of you guys watching and enjoy my content a thousand subscribers is a pretty long way away plus I'm not even close to the 4,000 hours of watch time in this year I think I'm at like 2,000 maybe hours of watch time so even that I have a long way to go if it wasn't before you know you shouldn't focus on money before definitely not now the road is too long for you to focus on money to focus on subscribers to focus on views now take the time you know when you you know to perfect your content take the time to make sure your community is there so that when that time comes then it's all about the results it's all about views it's all about subs it's all about those things but initially I think it's best if you focus on your community you focus on being a good subscriber and just wrapping your mind your mind around the idea that you won't be gaming you'll spend the majority of your time in creating this gaming channel on other things learning Photoshop learning editing software learning SEO learning how to tag your videos correctly all of those things is probably where the majority of your time will be spent at the beginning I should also mention learning the equipment finding the best equipment for you to do the things that you want to do so yeah it's not about the money and the final thing i would say uh, here is improve every video oh my god that sounds so basic of course improve every video hear me out hear me out all right when i first started my videos i wanted that edge to be so damn perfect i didn't want to be all these other like terrible quality content people just starting out and it's just gonna be asked the whole whole time through but the problem with that is I tried to make my content as perfect as possible and I had this image in my mind of what you see here actually I've you know I'm, I'm happy this is what I wanted to do I wanted to have something where people looked at it and the quality is good we also have things happening in the background, things going on. And if you can see through here, you see, you just saw Konkuro, you see Gara here. I like that element of surprise. I like when people come to myself, it's aesthetically pleasing. Um, if you look at my intro loading, even everything from the background, and I'm saying all of this to prove a point. I took all the Moss Hunter trailers, cut them up, put them together, and I created a background like this, kind of like a loading menu uh, where I'm talking. I really like this idea, but I didn't know how to do any of this at the very beginning. Even here, you see subscribe and like because I'm not famous. Again, I told you I'm not famous. Go ahead and subscribe and like this video. I'd appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't do any of this in the beginning. Even though I had this exact vision of what you're seeing here, I couldn't do it because I didn't know how to you know use a green screen I didn't know how to edit the videos I didn't have the correct you know editing software all of these things I didn't know how to do in the beginning and eventually I reached a point where I'm like you know what forget all of this I'm just gonna post a video no matter what I'm just gonna post a video and I posted a video even though I felt it and it burned me to my core it burned me to my core to post content that wasn't my best that I didn't feel like it was my best but I told myself, you know, what, I'm just going to improve one thing in the next video. So what I did is post a video. Let's say the audio was crap. Sorry. <clears throat> Again, I feel like I need to burp, but I'm not burping. Let's say the audio was crap. The next video, I'd focus on the audio, make sure my audio was good. You know, forget everything else. The quality could be, you know, the video quality could be bad. Um, all of these other things. So, you know, I'm just going to make sure the audio was good in this one. The video after that. Okay, let me try to make sure that the lighting isn't as bad. All right, let me focus on that. 
Boom. You know what? My energy is so low in this video. Let me try to pick it up in the next one. I should have a new outro. Okay, but the outro is gonna take me two to three days to do. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna focus on that and I'm just gonna try to be consistent on these videos. And in that third, fourth video, add a new outro. And so eventually these little, these little uh, improvements make a big difference. And eventually I'm sitting here now with exactly how I wanted, uh, you know, or envisioned my content to be. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Those are five things. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. These are five things that forget getting your equipment, forget all those things. All right, let's take a step back. These are five things that I think if you understand before you get into creating your gaming channel, before you get serious about it, if you understand these five, I think your chances of succeeding are that much better. All right, so I'm gonna say them, you know, go over them again so you guys know what the five are. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys take at least, you know, even if it's just one of these things helps you out. I feel like I did my job. I feel good about this video, so yeah. The first one was nothing about gaming. Channel is about gaming. You're gonna focus most of your time doing other things than actually gaming at the beginning. Number two, forget the subscribers and the view counts. Focus on community. Focus on people comment on your videos. You comment back. You don't just say, you don't just like the comment, but you take the time to express a full thought ask them about sure thank you for liking my video is there anything i can improve or you think i can improve upon because they took the time to do that to your video try to build a community try to go to their channel and see what they're going what they're doing and things like that number three if you want good subscribers be a good subscriber two and three are pretty much pretty close uh, but yeah be a good subscriber like i said go to their channel like their videos subscribe to their channel, comment on their channel, and just be, you know, interesting. Don't just say great video, like everybody else who's doing sub for sub, actually watch two to three minutes of their channel. People eventually, you know, start doing the same for you. That's building the community. Number four, money can't matter at the beginning. YouTube changed the rules now. You won't be seeing money for a little while, for, I don't wanna say a long time, or for a while you won't be seeing money get that idea of money out of your head do it because you love to do it do it because this is what you want to do the money will come after focus on the community focus on improving you all right and again i kind of already mentioned it but again number five improve little by little yeah you might want it to be perfect at the beginning if you're like me and you're perfectionist you'll want it to be that way get rid of that idea fight that every day post a video every day and make one improvement eventually you'll be at the point where you need to get to so those are my five tips that you should come to terms with before creating a gaming channel hopefully you guys liked uh this video a lot more of these videos to come if you guys have a suggestion on a video definitely leave that in the comments below uh like this video subscribe all that good stuff your boy the mother soloist and i'll see you guys in a later video peace